Hello, welcome to Sun, Moon, Star, Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. This reading is going to be a next seven days reading and for all signs. So it doesn't matter what sign you are. This is going to be a general collective next seven days. All right. So we want to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to pull seven cards to represent each day. And that will be the overall energy. And I will be clarifying with um, the challenge. And then I will be clarifying again with the uh um, overall out okay so it's kind of going to be like a past present future but it's going to be challenge overall challenge um outcome right and seven so 21 cards all together all right so next seven days please next seven days what's going on next seven days prominent theme next seven days all right, so day one, we have page of wands. That's getting in touch with your inner child, your inner spirit, particularly um, around your passions, your desires, um, and uh, realizing that they can happen and put in action towards them. And that was Sunday. So Sunday, we have page of wands. Monday, we have three of cups. Three of cups is all about having the energy of celebration, all about being in high vibrational energy. So doing things that makes you happy, but doing things that lead to successful outcome as well. And then uh, Tuesday, we have judgment. No, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, we have judgment. Judgment is all about new awarenesses, coming to new conclusions, upgrading your consciousness so this is a great day for some meditation i will do meditation on tuesday uh what's wednesday we have the sun beautiful so um probably in light of doing that beautiful meditation that i suggested uh we do have the sun card the sun is all about just auspicious beginnings happy like just a lot of happiness and this is a wednesday wednesday is not a sunday but wednesday i always think about the sun so maybe that's why all right um and then wednesday what about thursday please overall energy for thursday we have the star so some something i don't want something negative might happen but some a challenge might be on this day so you're being asked to remain hopeful um and just to have positive energy even still throughout this week uh friday what's happening friday for yeah exactly so it might be dealing with some loneliness at this time and saturday what's saturday We have five of swords, disconnection, feeling discombobulated. So your week, your overall week, overall uh, energy for this week, definitely. And so this is also present in yourself. You definitely are hopeful and you definitely have positive outlooks. But there is this side of yourself, especially towards the weekend, where you just kind of like spiral and you kind of pick up back negative patterns. So maybe it's easier for you to be more positive and more like um, more yourself towards the beginning of the week but towards the end you just kind of like i don't want to say fall off but there is some negativity present here so challenge actually you know what i'm for since this is beautiful energy i'm going to draw four, four cards uh for the challenge for this week bottom of the deck we do have six of coins that's all about having a positive outlook having knowing that positive things are coming your way even though it may seem to be the opposite at this time all right so your current challenge for this week, uh, but like I was saying, your overall energy for the week is like you just kind of have like these two parts of yourselves. I don't want to say that are at odds, but perhaps just perhaps this page of wands is going to kind of like remedy um, whatever like emptiness that you may be feeling. Page of wands is all about exploring your spirit. With a very childlike mentality, with a very open mind, having new inspirations, new passion, um, being in an unknown environment, uh, beginning of a journey, basically. So the beginning of a journey can be for you um, finding out what this apathy, what this discord, this inner discord is. Four of Cups, to me, is just about being super disconnected and being discontent. And the Five of Swords is having that mental block and having uh, just 
some mental pain perhaps um mental um disruption challenges that basically um and just being like surprised and in opposition just not very positive so I'm, we're going to see the challenge for uh this upcoming week what is the challenge for this upcoming week okay we have two cards coming in we have third eye chakra so this is the ability to see wisdom to have wisdom the ability to be open i'm getting the seven of cups energy with this card so uh the, the ability to like see beyond and to like uh not have confusion so you may be feeling a little bit confused at this time or all over the place or just kind of discombobulated uh and then we have tower moment here too and i'm noticing two sixes so six 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 uh the beast system the energy of change 666 represents um you need to get more in touch with your spirit side more in touch with your divine your divinity as a person we have wisdom divinity we have that's the divinity card there the hierophant oh and this letting you know this is the tower here and this is the hierophant um so your challenge energy is you being okay with the changes that are taking place and you not letting it cause you discombobulation and you kind of staying connected with your inner source and your inner wisdom and knowing that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. And then we have the sun here again. So we have two suns on the board here. No, excuse me. This is judgment again. See their light card and their light card looks like um, judgment. I mean, their judgment card looks like, um, <laughs> no, this is the sun. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm like confusing myself here. This is, the sun is 19. Yes. So everything is going to be okay. And see, maybe that's that confusion, um, like lack of clarity, you know, because I, I don't read often with this deck, but I know this deck well enough to not be confused like that. So that was very interesting. We have the two of wands here, movement, choices, decisions. So you needing to follow your spirit. You needing to follow what lights you up. I'm noticing the chakras here as well. Following your higher chakra system. We have seven. We have the chariot, triumph, my yes card, the fool. And then we have three of wands. So movement forward, perhaps travel. We spill to strength. Nine of wands here. So being able to like, and also third eye highlighted as well. Being able to see past your burdens and destiny here. We have a 10. I mean, the will of fortune. Excuse me. Whenever I have like, whenever I do the major arcana, I say 10 of just instinctually. So that's my bad. All right. All right. So this is your current challenge. And now I will be pulling the outcome to your challenge. All right. So what is the outcome to your challenge? Your, your, your challenge really is having faith and having like, um... Like something to cling to, like to keep that faith alive, because there's a lot of challenges and a lot of opposition around you at this time. Um, and so just keeping the faith, having a positive outlook. We have the emperor here. We have the queen of swords. And this is the outcome of the challenge. So stability, you having more wisdom and you having more insight to kind of like cut through the bullshit uh outcome for a challenge please nine of uh pinnacles here you standing in your yourself and your creative truth and then wow we have a tower again coming with the king of wands so creative expect change expect great change expect um creative change around you perhaps your creativity your overall um stamina has been off lately and by stamina, I mean the King of Wands is someone who is in an authoritative position. He knows who he is. He knows his worth. And I do believe we have the... No, we didn't have the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands energy is here as well. Or at least I'm feeling it. Um, but he is a wise authority, good advice. Um, kind of like the higher thought in a way. Um, having no opposition. So having clear thought at this time as well. Um, and knowing that success is yours, stability is yours. It's not a pinnacles energy. Not a pinnacles for me is always about that, like independency. Um, I don't want to say independent woman, um, but just the state of like bliss because you have accomplished what you have wanted and you're in a great position. 
And the King of Wands further solidifies that being in a great position, having good authority, having great knowledge, having the experience needed. And this is coming from that change. So expect change, but expect um, an upgrade basically because of this change this week. All right. And Ace of uh, Wands here. So beautiful, passionate energy, death, uh, patience, and the moon here. So like you are like charting through uncharted territory. Spirit has been moving you. Spirit has been making you feel really uncomfortable. So if you've been uncom if you have been feeling uncomfortable, this is why because you're being moved and you're being kind of like resh reshuffled and kind of I don't want to say redone, but just a lot of changes taking place um, and you kind of needing to kind of surrender to the change. Surrender to the changes around you because uh, you can't fight it. Definitely. Because you will lose. <laughs> Alright. Um, please just two cards. Other advice. Two cards of advice for the next seven days. And they flew out. We have daughter romance. So expecting, not expecting, but knowing that once you clean up your vibration around other things, that this will come in for you. Attachment, action, storm warning. So warning about attachment. Um, but knowing, like distinguishing attachment from bonding um, this week, right? For, so attachment versus a bond. What's the difference? All right, so we have happy family, beautiful appreciation. So I think that word came out again, uh, came out before. Um, happy, happy family for me is all about you finding that inner peace, that inner calm. And appreciation is about um, you choosing gratitude and you choosing to see the lighter side of life and you just choosing happiness, basically. Um, and choosing, again, that bond, that closeness, that... Uh, caring mentality this week, all right? And that's with yourself and with others, choosing compassion for yourself and for others. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you find this video to be helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do that offer a powerful one-to-one -one six week mentorship program around expanding your spirituality. If you're interested, everything you need to know is in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiritualgenia.com. You can book your free consultation call there. And you can also follow me on Instagram at spiritualgenia. And you can book your tarot reading with me at www.thesummerstartover.com. Everything you need to know is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. Namaste.